Happy Tuesday, mini ballet. I am so excited to you to come and do some ballet with you today. We are missing you guys so much, but I've been watching everybody um, work from home and you are doing such a fabulous job. Um, I am working from home too, as you can see. Um, and don't be surprised if somebody wakes up in the middle of all this during our, our ballet class. Um, we are going to be running through a typical ballet day, but I wanted to get us warmed up with something fun. Uh, your favorite, favorite thing to do is the positions game. So we are going to get started with that. I'm going to press play for that. Let me see. If you see me pop out of here, it's because I'm looking for something on my phone. Okay. All right, you guys. Everybody stand up and get ready. And then we'll do, after we do our positions game, we'll go to the floor and start our warm up. Let's play a game. I'll call out a ballet position, and you make the position as fast as you can, starting with your feet. First position. First. Fourth position. Fourth. Second position. Third. Fifth position. Fifth. I'm trying to get so you can see my feet. Second position. Fourth position. Fifth position. Third position. First position. Third position. Fifth position. Great job. Now let's try our arms. Second position. Second. Fifth position. Fifth. Fourth position. Fourth. First position. First. Third position. First position, second position, fourth position, third position, second position, first position, second position. Great job. Now we can put our arms and our feet together. First position. First. Fifth position. Fifth. Second position. Second. Third position. Third. Fourth position. Fourth. Second position. Second. Fifth position. Fifth. Third position. Third. First position. First. Fourth position. Now you can pick your favorite position of all. And take a bow. Fantastic, you guys. <laughs> I know we always love that one in class and it's so much fun. Um, let's see. Good. All right. So we are going to move to the floor just to... Move those muscles a little bit with a nice little warm up for our feet. So I want you to pay very close attention at what my feet are doing. 
um, while we are warming up. I'm just pulling up our music, okay? Sure you can see me here. All right, we're gonna sit up straight and tall. Remember that we wanna press our shoulders down. And then our neck's very nice and long. Bring those hands out to the side here. Where our bellies are nice and activated and we have a straight line from our tail all the way up through our neck and our head, yes? Very good. You all look wonderful today. I don't know about you, but it felt good to get my dance clothes today. All right, now we are gonna flex our feet. And point. And flex. And point. And flex. Good, just the right foot. Point. And flex. Point. And flex. Left foot, point. And flex and point and flex very good all right let's point both of our feet good and we're going to open up to first very good and point and flex and point and flex and point and flex very good all right let's roll our right foot out around three times very good and our left, roll it outside. Very good. All right, everybody, let's roll both of them to the inside at the same time. Three times. Very good. Now we'll reach up with pointed toes and we're gonna lay our head down to our knee. Take a big deep breath in. And exhale with a stretch and hold. Very good, let's roll it up and flex. Open those arms nice and wide. And we're gonna grab the outsides of our feet. We're gonna look in at the belly, take a big deep breath in and out. And hold. Very good, awesome job, you guys. Let's go into our butterfly position. Again, take your palms and press your fingertips to the side to make sure that our shoulders aren't over like this and concave and our bellies aren't slumped over. We want to sit high on top of those sit bones. Both the right and the left are down to the floor with our shoulders pressed. So big, so beautiful. Let's try that again. Press your shoulders, long, long neck, and press the floor. Very good. Can you take your nose and we're going to take a deep breath in and we're going to roll it down with a flat back all the way down to our toes. Very good. And roll it up. Wonderful. And roll over again. Flat back. And roll it up. You guys are doing a fabulous job. I miss you so much. I'm running to the couch here. All right, out to second position and flex. Let's sit up straight and tall with our arms in second and flex and point and flex and point. So remember when we're sitting in our second position, we're pushing those pinky toes out to the back and our heels forward. So no sickle feet like this, okay? No, no, no. Keep them back, just like that. Pressing those toes those pinky toes to the back, and point, and flex, two more times, and point, and flex, and point, and flex, very good, and relax, all right, and over to the right, nice and open, now if you're like this, we're all cut off and slumped over, grab that shoulder, look up at the ceiling, and reach, 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 nice and open, and try to bring that ear down, to our knee. Very good. Now take your nose and flat back and lower to the diagonal of our leg. Now, if we go like this, yes, that is an okay stretch, but I like to go to the diagonal. This is a really good tip for parents. Um, whenever your kids are stretching at home, it's, it's okay to do this, 
But do you see what happens to my body? It scrunches up and my shoulders hunch over. If we aim for the diagonal and go bringing this part of our body straight down and over and press, you're gonna get a longer stretch in the hamstring and throughout the back of the knee and the calf. And those are big points that we're always looking for for very straight legs in our bot maws and our jetés. Roll it up. And our feet should be pointed during this. Nice and open. Shoulder to the ceiling and extend. Very, very good. All right. Again, to the diagonal. Both sit bones straight down. Very good. All right, we are going to shake them out. All right. So we are gonna start with our saute jumps. All right, so we're gonna do first position. We're gonna do, oh, I hope this doesn't wake up the babies, but we'll see. And the dog's gonna think it's fun. This is Bronx. Say hey, Bronx. All right, buddy. All right, go, go, go. He likes to be in the middle of everything I do. All right, so we're going to plie. Jump one, two, three, now, with our saute jumps, it's, you want to make sure that we're not jumping like this. Yes. And we want to make sure that when we come off the ground from first position, we are peeling. Peel, 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 peel. Those feet up off the ground and into a point. Buddy, you got to go to the kitchen. Come on. Come on. I'm so worried about the kids, I forgot about the dog. All right. He just opened the gate. I need my baby gate. All right, so let's peel those feet up off the floor. And we're gonna do four jumps in first position. And then we're gonna step out to second position with those heels forward. And we're gonna plie up, plie up, plie up, plie up. Same thing, when we come up, you want to peel those feet up off the floor and point. Yes? All right. Let's go ahead and get started with those saute jumps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, out. One, two, three, four. Very good. And close. You want to do an extra set of those on your own? Go for it. I trust you to do the right thing, okay? Whew, sorry, I'm out of breath. So, all right, so we're gonna start with our demi plies. Okay, we're gonna start on our right side with our right foot to the outside. Okay, I'm looking for my plies. Here we go. And we're going to, I'll just run through it very quickly. Bronx, go. Let's see the bell right now. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to go arms open and present. Here we go. Demi plie. Hold them in first. Demi plie. Open second. Tondu. And Demi. Hold those hands in first. Good. And dimmy. And open. Very good. Now we are going to close. Let me check my notes real quick. We're going to close in fourth. And our arm is out. And dimmy. And hold. Arm down. Yes. And dimmy. And up. And out. Close fifth. Dimmy. And straighten. Good. Dimmy. And straighten. Very good. Go through fifth. Right? Boom. Very good. Now we're going to time do to the side. Close first. 
And then we're gonna elevate up one, two, three, four, and hold in the middle four counts. And arms up to fifth. One, two, three, four. Good. And then we're gonna come down five, six, seven, plie, eight. Alright, so it's very important that we're watching our posture. Something I struggle with a lot of times is making sure that my hips are nice and turned out, but also pushing down, shortening my belly and lengthening my spine. We talk about that in class a lot, okay? So we're gonna do this exercise with our demi plies. I'm gonna ask you a question real quick. Who knows the answer? A demi plie. Do your feet come off the floor for demi plies? No, that's right. They stay, your heels stay connected to the floor. So here we are in demi plie second. Here we are in demi plie first. And straighten. Now remember when we straighten, our body does like this. And swoop, like this, nice and tall. And nice and tall. And plie. And straighten. Very good. All right. So let's do that with our music. You got a friend in me. First position. Good job. Spread those toes and hold. Down. Demi plie. And plie. Other side. Very good. Time to demi. And close. Four. And demi. And straighten. Demi. And straighten. Close. Fifth. Demi. This is, I'm going to change the music though. Stay right there, stay right there. Stay right there. We'll just do no music. Demi and straighten. Demi and straighten. Time to back to first. Very good. And elevate one, two. Spread those toes across the floor. Three, four. Hold five, six, seven, eight. Balance one. Two arms to fifth, three, four, release, five, six, seven, plie, eight. Fabulous job. Now we're going to move to our time dues. And I don't know why I couldn't find the word progression to save my life, but there we are. Um, <laughs> okay, so we are going to press, 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 and lift, lift, lift and press, 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 and close, close, close. Remember that our time do, it does not lift up off the floor until the very, very end. And that's why this progression is so important because we press, 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 and we point, 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 and we lift those toes, very good, and point again, pressing, and close. And we're gonna do two to the front and two to the side and then two to the back on each side. All right, all from first. And then we're gonna do our regular, you know what, I might, I'm gonna do this um, from center. Well, yeah, you can see me better this way. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do, okay? I'm gonna face this way and do it and then I'll turn. And we'll do both sides 
and then we'll go through our next set of tondos. How much time do we have? Oh, good. Okay, perfect. A little harder because I don't have a speaker like I did at the studio, so. sequence since we did our progressions we're going to go into our four tondus on each side um, to the front to the side to the back so it will look like this arm up in one two three four and side two three four and back two three four plie Releve, turn, and again, front, sorry, sorry about that, front, front is up, one, two, three, four, side, one, two, three, four, and back, two, three, four, and plie, and soutenu, around to the other side. All right. Oh, I don't know why I walked over here. I may have to edit this out too, or not. I just can't remember, sorry. Um, I almost deleted 20 minutes of this class. So I'm recovering from a heart attack. All right, everybody, nice and tall. Straighten that first position. Tuck your bottoms. All right. Activate that belly. Here we go. Oh, you probably can hear that. I'm going to put it over here so you can hear it. Very good. All right, so now we're gonna work through a cool down and with
Second position. Get in the parallel. Good. Roll your shoulders back and forward. First position. Round plie. All right, guys, that's gonna here. Let's right here. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up ballet. I'm super excited. Um, you did a wonderful class today. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to call or text me videos. Um, anything that you might be confused about or need some help, send me some videos of you doing your tendus so I can help you with that. Um, outside of class, I will video them back. Um, the best way to do that is via email. I know that some of you have had a hard time to do um, email. Sorry, I'm just trying to get, look, I turned my Ikea light into like, I'm, I'm a YouTube star light. <laughs> um, no, but anyway, you can email me at jessballard0105 at gmail.com. I can't wait to hear back from you guys and see what you're doing at home. Please, please, please send me your videos because that's the point of these classes is for you to learn and grow. Um, and unfortunately, I know it's not the best scenario, but if you send me that video, I'll be able to critique you a lot better and send you that feedback um, back. Because what I normally do when we walk through class is I, I have Stella actually doing the the um, combination that I'm giving them and then I walk around and I fix all of their feet their hips their arm placement um, and you know it doesn't always look as good on my older body with all the babies I've had so um, I'm working on getting better at that this week hopefully being back in dance but um, Yes, so definitely send me your videos back with your critiques, and so that way I can give you critiques. Uh, I love you so much. I just miss you all. Every single one of your little faces, okay? I hope you have a wonderful and bright and shiny day. Love you.